it's October 12th. Um, I did a hot pepper update, so I'm not going to do another one right now, um, just recently. I'm absolutely loving our hose link. Um, I want to get some attachments to go on the side of the pole here so that it can keep all the other wands and different things, but um, this is an 82 foot, so it actually reaches our whole garden over here. So that's been an awesome addition, and I don't have hoses to trip on anymore um, around the beds. A um, couple things to update on, the um, bunch of the flowers I'm letting go to seed now, um, just letting the pollinators have whatever they want um, from, from them. I'm not really clipping them anymore. So you can see here, um, the giant marigolds. Um, this one is looking pretty close to, to ready. Um, we've got some parsley that I continue to, to clip and dry. I've pulled all the leeks. Um, a couple of nasturtiums seeded themselves um, from earlier in the spring when I had them there. Um, but really there's just lettuce and flowers left in most of these beds. Some onions, some leeks, um, and uh, oregano, and a spider web. Um, I'm totally tangled in. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, the zinnias are still pretty gorgeous, even though they've fallen over. Um, a few of them. I was going to take out these trellises, but um, the zinnias are leaning on them or tied to them, so I haven't yet. Um, over here, you can see some of the lettuce. Starts over here, doing great. Parsley, some beets I have, a couple onions. Um, but it's definitely a fall garden. Um, we are way past our normal average first frost date. Um, so I'm kind of just letting the garden do its thing and cleaning up as I go. Um, here's a bunch of the cosmos that I have again letting to go to seed so I can collect a bunch. Got more beets in that grow bag. Um, some of the giant zinnias. Uh, this is the bed of potatoes that I harvested uh, this week or Sunday or Saturday. I can't remember anymore. Um, so I still have to clean up the pile from over there, but. Um, we need to amend this and we're going to add, I think, um, this one already has the second brace here. Um, so I don't think we're going to add any more braces to this bed. Um, but the other beds, as we clear them out, we will start adding, um, more braces. Um, we'll amend this, this soil. Then I'm going to add fresh composted, um, aged manure, uh, fresh, but composted aged manure onto this, fill it up to the rim. And I may even, um, uh, cover them after that um, since we should be ready um, to, to go for winter for snow and, and freeze. It's our celery root. Got another dozen over in another bed that I started later. Um, I might try to make celery salt. Um, so I guess you dry the leaves um, and then add a little bit of salt and grind it all up. Um, it's supposed to be good. I do have a few onions that are still going that haven't um, had a, broken their necks yet, so still waiting on that. Marigolds. Um, this bed is our main lettuce bed right now that I'm bed and picking from. Um, it does need a little weeding, but these are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I did throw some, some golden beets in there, um, been eating the beet greens also, but They're just, you can see they're nice sized heads. I still just pick the leaves around the, the bottom's base, um, as you can kind of see here. Uh, but those have been great. This is one flower here that I grew from seed. It's an Osteosperum African Daisy. Um, so I'm waiting for some more seeds from that. I'm not sure if those will germinate or not. Um, the seeds are actually rather expensive. Our cayenne bed is doing really well. Um, I picked some of these already this past weekend. Um, looks like another day or two I'll have more to pick. Loving the lighting on the hill on the other side of the valley. It's absolutely gorgeous with the colors right now. It's got a quick interruption from the mailman. But, um, 
So the bell peppers are doing really well still. They've gotten a little smaller um, and they're really loading up. Um, let's see. Each plant has probably 10 or, or more. Um, it's a little crazy at the moment. Uh, so I'm trying to get more to turn red and going to red um, to ripen, but um, I'm not sure again how much more we'll get before a full size before we get our frost. It looks like the 10 day forecast is going to be really warm, unseasonably warm. Um, so we've got that. This bed, the carrots have done amazing. These are the pelleted carrots from Johnny Seeds and I will never plant regular carrots seeds again. It's worth the extra couple cents per seed to, to get the pelleted. Um, I've just kind of proven it here. These were planted afterwards. Uh, these guys, they're much healthier. I don't need to thin them. They've been great. Um, I've got some massive beets in here and then um, the bush beans that I've been picking for the dogs. We're using the beans and carrots treats this year, which has been kind of fun. Um, over here I have the guajillos and some poblanos, um, some more beets. I'm not sure what we'll do with these guys. Um, maybe we'll try uh, steaming them again. Um, I did take out um, the pepperoncinis and the um, serranos from this bed and I've picked all of those um, in the house. We've got three poblanos left there. Here's more of our celery, more carrots, beets. I took out the summer squash that was in there. Even though they were still getting ripe, they were getting a little bitter. Um, got so many guajillos. Um, I just took a bunch off of the uh, dehydrator, out of the dehydrator today. Um, oh, I'm going to take another minute. Um, so those are great to cook with. I'm going to have way too many this year. Um, here's some more of that celery root. Got to start to see it. Um, and a ton of carrots that I really should thin. Um, I am not so good about that. But these little guajillos I think are going to be great for, um, for cooking with, um, when I don't want a full one. Um, they're not very spicy. They're decent, um, flavor though. So they're great in chilies and stews. Our cattle panel trellis is still doing all right. Um, I pulled the Italian peppers out of this bed, um, and a couple of the hots that were over here. Um, and I'm letting the beans now go to seed and dry it. So I'll start collecting those once they get going um, pretty quick. I'll come back here and clip at the bottom, I think was the um, suggestion from a friend um, to let them dry out right here. Um, I still have some dill in a grow bag. I've got some more beans in a grow bag that I'm letting go to seed. Um, try and think of what else. Let's see all these beans up here. Um, <laughs> uh, this one was supposed to be a, um, this grow bag was supposed to be a golden or yellow tie and it turns out that it's orange. Um, so that's kind of funny. Um, these are starting to, to go by though. A couple of the colder winter, a uh, colder winter, colder nights really did impact that. Um, but trellis is just so much fun. Um, habaneros, another guajillo, some more giant marigolds, more lettuce that I've been picking, and then look at this grape. These are two, maybe three. I can never remember. Two or three of the grapes that I started late, um, and they've just taken over. I think this bed got planted late summer. Um, it's just been absolutely amazing. Um, and Jay's been loving the flavor of these. Ah, I just dropped some. So, 
I'll have to go on the other side and get those. But they're decent size. Um, and the companion planting with the um, alyssum seems to, to be good. I haven't noticed any real negatives. Um, these are starting to go by as expected, but I think I'll need Jay to, to reach some of the ones way up there. Um, this is my second baby pan pumpkin. It's a pie pumpkin or eating pumpkin. Um, then I've got these pumpkins that are trying to escape that I started really late. I don't think I'll actually get anything from these guys. They're trying though. Um, and then I've got some watermelons. Let's see this leaf here. Um, summer squash I need to pull, um, but I figured I'd just wait at this point and let the pollinators have the flowers. Um, but they're just really bitter. Um, I've got these uh, peach scotch bonnets. They're about a habanero heat. Make a fun color. Um, Jay's been using them in the hot sauces. So these ones are the really small ones out of the pot. Um, we have some that are much bigger in the greenhouse. Um, oh, I gotta get that. Look at these, it's crazy. Um, they're kind of funny. I never let beans go to seed, so this is kind of fun for me. Um, I usually just pull them. Um, oh, in here we do have some uh, big beef um, tomatoes. <laughs> you can see I dropped a bunch of these. Um, So I'm not really harvesting to, to eat anything tonight. We already have a poblano casserole we made last night for dinner and leftovers. Um, but I'm trying to keep the, the garden tidy as much as I can. So for late fall, we're doing really well. Last year at this time, I think we'd already had like eight inches of snow and I had to have the heat on, a little electric heater on in the um, greenhouse every night. Um, our low temp last night was like 50, maybe 55, um, which is just crazy. Um, I've got these, um, probably just these four and these three bags will go into the greenhouse. I think I might harvest these two here as they're starting to turn yellow. Um, so I need to get Jay to put these in into the greenhouse um, soon where we took out the um, jalapenos. But it is not quite peak, but it is getting close. Makes me love New England. You can see the trellis I took out from that one bed. Need to put it away. And that's asparagus. I don't think I showed that yet, but this um, uh, probably just cut them down once everything dies back from the first hard frost. Um, but I've harvested out pretty much a lot of things. I think the bush beans will come out next. Um, I'm not going to bother keeping those in. I need to harvest the celery root. Um, we need to try that. We've never had it before, so. Supposedly it's really starchy and you can eat it kind of like a potato, which is interesting. Um, and then the poblanos will probably, um, and the, all the pepper bags will come next, um, and all the pots that are along the greenhouse. Um, and then seed collecting is a big thing on my list and um, continuing to take some herb cuttings. Um, this oregano is getting nice and big again. I've got one here. This is spicy oregano. I guess it's like four or five types of oregano. Um, lots more varieties, but um, we thought that was Mexican oregano, um, but it's actually considered a spicy oregano. It's very good, um, but we <laughs> wanted to get the Mexican oregano because uh, a lot of the Rick Bayless recipes we make call for that. Um, we started using it in a lot more of our cooking. 
Um, yeah, so that's really the garden update um, so far. It's just pretty gorgeous right now. Um, try to keep on doing maintenance day by day so we can keep on top of everything. Um, I do have lettuce seeds going in the greenhouse now. I've got a few lettuce starts that I put in there too. Um, got parsley in there. Uh, I ran out of carrot seeds, so we won't have carrots in the greenhouse, so I'll have to harvest everything out here. But Over there, we did harvest the corn, and um, so really I just have tomatillos left that over there. The sunflowers have either been harvested or eaten at this point, and I need to take the corn stalks down out for the last row um, and get that ready for garlic. So, but it's happy fall. I'll try to do another update next week.